Yeah, I would not. And that's a bunch of stuff. Okay, we are live. Thank you, everyone, for being with us tonight on this wonderful rainy night. Look at it this way. It could be snow. I want to thank everybody for joining the Municipal Budget Committee. Today is Tuesday, February 16th, 2016. For the record, and if everybody would rise, I'd like to leave you to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Tonight, um, I'm going to go around the room and have everybody introduce themselves. If I could have you guys condense a little bit so that Terry at home can... I think I'm close enough to do that. <laughs> you guys all going to move up there? Yeah. Well, if you're not going to move... I don't want to move. Mike, you know, I'm not going to move. <laughs> don't make I this told you. Tonight, I Mike. told you I was going to make it longer. <laughs> this is my last night. Give me going away, President. Opportunity ducks only once, huh? Huh? Yeah, not five times in 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Um, this evening, what we have you, is. You can do the introduction. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I forgot that. Okay, I'm going to start over here with Bob tonight for intros. Bob. Bob Ladd. Jim O'Loughlin. Mike Bluff. Stephen LeBranch. Eileen Latimer, Chairman. Brian Lapham. Scott Blair. Nick Bridal. Sonny Kravitz. Mike Pierce. And Maureen and Chuck, if you'd introduce yourselves as well for this evening. Maureen Buckley. And Precinct Commissioner of the Hampton Beach Village District. Thank you very much. Chuck Rage, Precinct Commissioner of the Hampton Beach Village District. Thank you. We know who you are. Mm -hmm. We're getting into this new world of having things done remote, so. All right. Well, this evening, it has come time for the precinct budget. It's always wonderful to have you come in and, and talk to us about it. We want to thank you, Madam Chair, for inviting us and uh, listening to our spiel on our budget. Um, as you know, we'll, I could start from the top and just work our way down. Or that would be that the easiest? Then have, when we're finished, then you, yeah. everybody can ask questions instead of trying to go through the uh, back and forth. I think mm -hmm. it'd be easiest. Uh, income is basically a estimate of what we think is going to be the income coming in for the season. Obviously, we, we don't know exact figures. Um, the top line being the taxes coming in at 434,552.33 is an increase from last year's actual of about 8,000. Um, the we have interest on money that we have in the bank, which is pretty constant at, at approximately 1250. Um, the parking lot revenue is a little dicey right now for us. We're not quite sure with the new lot how much we're actually going to take in. So that could affect the taxes if we take in more. It should be, uh, it should be fine that way. Uh, I think we're a little conservative. We went by numbers that uh, actual numbers of our main lot, which is next to the fire station. And then we have some actual from the, um, the lot that we call the Clues parking lot which is on the uh, south side of the beach, which is new for us, but we only had it in operation the latter part of the season. So by taking the figures from that, we, we came up with a figure of that we are going to bring in 260000 So that's our proposed amount. It's definitely shown to be a, a busy lot. There's a big need for overnight parking for a lot of the residents down there and the cottage uh, renters down there. So that, that, sh that should end up being a... Uh, profitable for the village district and helpful for the residents down that end of the beach. Uh, sand sculptures every year, our costs go up, but our income goes up. We um, have been working uh, hard getting more sponsorship, and um, I would say maybe five, six years ago we were looking at fifteen, twenty thousand dollars in sponsorship. Last year we came in at thirty-eight thousand, so we budgeted that at forty thousand. Hopefully, it'll be fifty thousand. Um, 
we get a couple donations every year. It seems to be on the average of uh, in the $200 range, so that's where we put that in. So the total income coming into the Village District is $736,002.33. Okay, now on the, the um, expenses. The expenses are broken down into two different categories. One is general government, which all of the residents of the Village District pay into. That's the smaller of the two. The second grouping is cultural and recreation. That is all the different activities that we put on, and anybody that has a business, does any type of rental, is not that, that is not a, a single family residence, pays that tax. So if you are a single family home, it's your single family residence, you can go for an exemption. If you go for that exemption, you're only paying the general government, which, which is the small amount on the uh, of the two budgets. So in, in general government, we have the, uh, the payroll at $49.89, our accountants auditors at $88.50, legal at $8,000, which has come down because we don't have the uh, we don't have the um, okay. the legal expense of the closings and and loans and, and things from the parking lot. Um, we put a stipend in for furniture and chairs and stuff at $300. It's always, most of the time we don't spend it, but if you never know, some, some years we might need something. Playground maintenance, this year we spent, um, we, we spent about $5,000, is that right? But we did a lot of, um, we did uh, a lot of pointing and redoing all the stonework work. By doing that, we, we weren't able to do some of the re replacing and upgrading some of the equipment. So we upped that up from 7,500 the year before to 10,000. The precinct entry sign maintenance, uh, we're in a program with our signage um, that every year we have, I think it's four major signs in the town of Hampton coming in to 101, coming in from Winnicunit, and coming in over the bridge, and then there's the sign up town. Um, so every year we do we we have a rotating um, clock on, on repairing and ma maintaining those signs. So that's where that that's pretty consistent in the four thousand dollar range. Um, insurance at fifteen it went up a little from uh, last year, and then government supplies. Just mileage. to stop you, what is insured? It's, it's, uh, it's everything, our events. parking lots, liabilities, the events, okay. the playground, someone gets hurt. Um, so that covers all that. Other general government supplies, maintenance, mileage, everything else is at 7,000. Uh, we have uh, our meetings recorded at 1235. So that group of general government total that the whole precinct pays, the whole village district, is fifty nine three seventy four? So that's the small budget. Now we go into the fun part. <laughs> so we have advertise uh, the culture and recreation budget. We have advertising, internet, public relations. Um, that's at one forty. That was budgeted last year. We came in at one thirty five. The media director, the person that runs all this. That organizes it all is at thirty thousand. It's been the same for the past nine or ten years. It hasn't changed. Uh, concerts we went up just a small amount to one hundred seven five hundred thousand. We have the idol competition. We went to ten nine. We upped the prizes. Is that why you went? Mm -hmm. We upped the prizes a little. Parking lot payroll. 56, it, that went up substantially because we have a, lot. a new lot. The general supplies, that's mostly things in the parking lot and, and, and our elections yeah. and putting in a bathroom in the parking, the new parking lot. And that, so that is at 15, 683. Don't expect it to be that high next year, obviously, because we won't need it. Um, should have had my glasses, my other glasses. <laughs> the bond payment, 
Um, so the, it, it's actually, it wasn't a bond, it was a, a loan that we got a great rate on. Uh, that is exact at 119, 11, and 92 cents. Chuck, how many years did that end up being for? 10, Ten. Ten. Originally, the bond was going to be for 20. We were looking at 20, but we got such a great um, yeah. interest rate, we just couldn't. You know, that's a devil get me now, devil get me later thing. Mm -hmm. You know, like we did the fire station, we hated doing it like that, but it was, it was done. Yeah. So, uh, fireworks. Fireworks. We're having 17 shows, I believe, this year. And we signed a contract, and we got some great deals. And um, from what I understand from other towns that do shoot one one a year or twice a year, we're, we're getting a really good bargain on the fireworks, and they do a great job. We're at 62000 The professional sand sculptures, that went up a little. We uh, went up 3% from last year. Uh, and we, if it all goes well, we're going to have a, a three-year contract. By having that three-year contract, we will be able to uh, get more sponsorship and hopefully more money for the sponsorship. So even though that has substantially gone up over the years, again, it, we've, we're doing a lot more, but the sponsorship has gone up. So. Uh, now, could you just, can I just stop you there? Yeah. On the Sand Sculptures, um, Sand Sculptures LLC, what does that include in that contract for that 75000 That includes bringing the, the sculptures to the beach. Yeah. So we fly them out, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. We bring them to the beach from the airport. They're put up in hotels. They're bought dinners every day. The sand, removing it, bringing it. All, everything that in that sense. The only thing it's not covering is um, the security mm -hmm. and the commission from the from the um, the contract uh, gets for uh, getting the um, sponsorships. So uh, you'll see in that grouping what what it isn't covered. The eventees as well. That's that's not covered in that as well. So everything else that that is brought in. Price money. The prize money, the prize money that's involved. Thank you. Uh, they run a party for at the end of this, the, the for mm -hmm. the sculptures, and they run a usually a um, volunteers party. Last year, time frame, and, and we couldn't get the room that we needed. We ended up not having the party. We gave all the volunteers a a, uh, a gift certificate. So so something is done for the volunteers, and that comes through that. Mm -hmm. Um, down to special events, we have an activities facilitator, and that person does um, the idol competition. What else? Do you he helps with all of the events. All the different, the all the different Sands events. Sands 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 He'll be involved in all of that. Uh, Children's Week of ten thousand. We we uh, we sponsor Children's Week, but we don't actually. That's one thing we don't actually run. We do a lot for it. We get a lot of the businesses involved in it, but the uh, Chamber of Commerce runs that. But we sponsor it with a $10,000 donation to the Chamber. We have a movie nights, other activities, other events. Movie nights every Monday, free movies. Uh, we have fireworks at New Year's where we get different supplies and different things for people. Um, and just about any other little function that's going on goes into that category. Coloring book, we don't have anything for that, do we? Just crayons this year. We, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have enough. Uh, we have leftover coloring books that from the other. Um, Christmas parade. You all saw the Continentals at the Christmas parade. I hope. And I was driving. Almost killed all of them. <laughs> I don't know if they'll be back next year. <laughs> sure they will. They're troopers. <laughs> uh, Blue Ocean Society, if, if, if you haven't been to the beach, there's a touch tank, and there's, they do all sorts of uh, events where they do clean, beach cleanups, and uh, it's, it's a nonprofit organization, and the village district donates 2500 toward their expenses of running the, the project there. And then we have banners, flowers, visual, 
that be our beautification committee. Um, I'm sure you've seen John and Linda Gephardt and all their gang out there every day doing their their best to make the beach look great. That is, that's at six thousand. They spent thirty-seven, but we didn't we we didn't have a lot of different things that we bought last year. But we'll probably have um, replacing different different uh, things. So we always keep that up there just in case we need it for anything. And the Chamber of Commerce, we also donate another seven thousand dollars toward them. What they do is because this whole thing about advertising and promoting the beach, they print um, they print um, a visitor's guide which they distribute. Which so we help pay for the postage for that, and they run the office at the beach, which directs people to all our businesses. Um, so that's that's why that that money is in there for that, and that's about it. Okay. So that total comes to six seventy six. 628 so 676,628 so the total of the two comes to seven hundred and thirty six thousand two dollars so is there any questions going down the line well actually Steve I'm going to ask you to move the amount the total amount on the budget of 736 um, I don't know if you want to do it like that I do okay thanks Mike I move. I'll move the amount of seven hundred thirty-six thousand and two dollars for the two um, Hampton Beach Village District warrant articles. Second. Okay. okay. <coughs> Thank you. Now I'll open it up for discussion. Thanks. I want to do it that way. All right. I'll start on this side, Mike. I have a couple of questions. Why do we have sixty-seven cents for the <coughs> Erie Commission? That seems sort of ridiculous. If I may <laughs> point that out. I'll let our, our treasurer answer that question. <laughs> Normally, no, there's a, there's a good reason for it. Normally, <clears throat> we put $1 in that account just in case we want to spend some money, okay, for the area commission. When I did the soft, when I entered the software today for the state DRA, mm -hmm. you have to round it off. You can't have pennies, okay? Really? So, yes, and it was, it, it was 736 two dollars and thirty three cents but it wouldn't the computer wouldn't accept the thirty three cents oh. so I had to take thirty three cents out and I took it out on that one line item <laughs> oh, so that's why it's sixty seven cents so it lets you cut the sixty seven cents out. yes and then <laughs> then it worked okay so. that answers that question <laughs> no there was one up here that you uh, definitely uh, it had to do with insurance because the parking lot's coming on so to speak the new parking lot mm -hmm. you spent fifteen for ten fifty in 15 and you're not you're actually asking for only 15,000 I think it'll be high wouldn't it? this is the, the new um, quotes that we've gotten from uh, our insurance agent including a new parking lot it, a new parking lot was on last year because yeah. even though we owned it through the season mm -hmm. it wasn't open at that point and we were paying for a building that was there that building is gone oh, so okay. that that's probably why the, the oh, price that the yeah. last year. okay you, you're saying you want to spend more? No. Oh, no, okay. I just want to make sure they have enough in their budget. If it looked like in me, it was going up. And he explained why it went. I'm all set. I've got a few questions. Yeah. On the income side, the revenue side, you, you earn $1,213 in your an interest prior years. You earn a couple hundred dollars. What's, how did you do that? We moved it from a non-interest bearing account, the money that we had, into an interest bearing account. We had it in a, a sweep account for years, and then that ended up costing us money because interest rates were so low. I got away from the. And when we were we were able to move money into okay. the other accounts, things were changed. Next question: uh, You're showing revenue of forty thousand for the sand sculptures. Uh, how does that? That's in sponsorship. So uh, if, if last year we had Geico and Southwest Airlines and a few other people that sponsor, so they 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 pay anywhere from. All right. The last question I have is. Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. gets all the revenue from the Seafood Festival, right? Yes. The Seafood Festival has nothing to do with us. That right. is there. But I mean, you're paying $7,000 to staff the, the office for the chamber. It's not. They, I'm sure their staff is a lot more than $7,000. Yeah, that is to I help. Know, I'm just questioning why the beach would have to. Well, that, that was an agreement made years ago. 
to uh, help defray the cost of all the, the mailers uh, in, in getting out our, our brochures, and they put our stuff out. When they go to shows, they take our items that we yeah. have. So that, that, that was an... That was a figure that came up actually years ago and hasn't changed. I understand, but I mean, the shame is getting all the revenue from the seafood. Well, we, if I may, yeah, we um, uh, have no office with a phone at the beach, so they handle all of the phone calls as well. All of the the phone calls about fireworks and and uh, is what is the movie and all of the things that go on that we we actually do. What is the playground open? All of these things they handle that on the day to day basis for us. And um, they also uh, handle anything that has to do with um, the, the, um, the um, sand, uh, sand sculpture event. Yeah, when people I come, understand. they're there. We need them. <laughs> we I, need I them. know you need them, but they need you as well. So. Right, they do. And we work good as a team. We do. We really and, um, work well with them. We work well with the state. We work well with the town. Yeah. And the whole idea of the the, the seafood festival, we're very lucky that they make a lot of money on that yeah. because no. How much there could be a year know? that they don't make a lot of money, and it could be a year that it ends. Yeah, and we don't know. and yeah. well, there is numbers out there, and we know it's the numbers are good. But if they have a bad year, if they are, are rained out or <laughs> something doesn't work, uh, we want to make sure that they they have enough cushion to come back for the following year. Yeah. The final question I have is on the parking lot. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Most parking lots have gone over automated entries, you know, a gate, credit card, so there's no cash. Well, you know, we've talked about that, and uh, I, I, I'm sure you've heard Charlie Preston talk about it. He, he thinks that, that we could actually make more money. Um, I'm sure it's a job that people like. That, well, okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, I know where you're getting to. Uh, we, we feel we hire very honest people, so no, hopefully that, that's the, hopefully that's the case. I think it's the case. But um, Hampton's very unique. Hampton's unique because a set rate at $2 an hour on one day might get $8 an hour another day. You could go down the beach at 10 o'clock in the morning and see a sign out for $15 for parking, and then a rainstorm comes in and they're getting $5 for parking. Um, so it, it's one of those places that you really move around, the, the pricing. So I think if it had a set rate and, and had the gate going up, you'd still have to man it, and I think you'd probably lose money. Okay. That's Perfect. my opinion. I might be wrong, but I've been, I've been in retail down the beach since I was 14, so long There's time. There's also a certain technique to the parking yeah. <laughs> you know, that they have down, and if it was automated, and there wasn't somebody there to make sure it was done correctly, I think that would be a problem, don't you? Yeah, but I don't think the Recreation Department of the checks does an audit of the tickets are numbered, right? Oh, yeah. whatever, okay. All right, that's fine. Well, consistently, the Hampton Beach Village District parking lot per space does more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. So I think Mike O'Neill, who's been running it for the last few years, <laughs> Fantastic job. No, sir? Nick? Okay. Um, the only question <laughs> I had in great presentation, by the way. Um, parking lot payroll under supplies. You had mentioned that the reason for the spike <coughs> this past year in spending <coughs> the $61,000, $62,000 was because you had to add the structure for the bathroom, I guess, at the building. 4589 oh, yes. Street. Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> my concern is 2014 you spent a little over two grand um, last year you had the big spike but you budgeted 3500 it jumps up to 15k is, is there just some clarification from the jump from around the 3,000 mark to up to 15,000 what are you anticipating coming on this year um, putting the bathroom in okay that's something that's, that's going in this year this year yeah. okay all right so the buildings have gone in the the actual uh, hut okay per se, but now we have to run the sewer line. There is a sewer line there, so that shouldn't be too bad. And, and do all the plumbing and have the, the plumbers and So eventually in the next couple of years that should that should come down or stable out at least. It should drop down again. To okay. The, all right. That's my only question, Madam Chair. Thank you. Okay. No questions. Thank you. Brian? Hi there. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Um, my only question, and I'll get back this again, we're looking for a 10.5% increase 
in the sand sculptures over the next three years. Um, it seems like we, we beat this. I guess I beat it to death. <laughs> but um, it just seems to be a major increase every year. And it bothers a lot of people. It does. And again, I go back to um, the increase in sponsorship. Mm -hmm. has gone up <coughs> increase of costs have gone up so um, some of it's a wash but if we want to continue this event and talking to the people that are that, that pay for this event so the taxpayer they want to keep it going and um, it brings a lot of people to Hampton Beach I mean you've all been down there you've all seen what happens down there it brings a lot of people get excited about it um, if it comes a time where we can't do it then that's, that's up to the people to decide that they don't want it. But right now, everybody seems to want it, and that's the cost. And it's not like there's 30 or 40 people that are, that are running sand, sand sculpture events. It's not like we can go to Irving Station instead of Mobile Station to make it. It's just there's not a lot of choices out there. So if we want to continue th this event, we negotiate with uh, the sand sculpture company, and that's where they're at. They actually asked for more, and we didn't do it. So. That I understand, and I think that thank you for that um the only other question I have is how will you quantify the sand sculpture's income the income is the uh where the is sponsorship. that it's just the just the sponsors is that right Stephen? just the sponsors and then some it's cash sponsors cash people actually send me checks if it's like mcdonald's we had last year geico coca-cola um Merrill, uh, Dean Merrill and Company, they all send me checks, and that's where that money comes from. Okay. That's not yeah, cash. Yeah, just, I just couldn't <laughs> understand where but it came from. Yeah. You know, it's more or less, but it's checks. It's actual money that's given. <laughs> and uh, Stephen's not getting do, brown bags full of cash. Yeah. <laughs> you guys do a great job down there, and I want to thank you for all you've done. Thank you. We try. And I'll keep trying. Is he making a pass on you? I don't have any questions. Okay, Mike? I, th I think it's fine. I'm all set, okay. thank you. I'm all set. You better be. <laughs> <laughs> you voted on it. That's right. I was for it before I was against it. You know, I mean, actually, I want to say one, just one little thing, because nobody He couldn't resist. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know it's too good to be true, but go ahead. Nobody picked yeah, up then on again, it. I haven't okay. had my turn. Continue but, from oh. last meeting. Under... Under general government, supplies, that number one, supplies, mileage, other, yeah. 5,000 to 7,000. The reason for that, Mr. Ladd, could you explain it? <laughs> it's because the UNH, remember? Oh. Yeah. And we have, we're looking into getting a study of the economic impact of the things the village district does for the beach and for the general community. And Chuck is discussing with the University of New Hampshire whether or not we can find the appropriate professor to be in students or interns to do that study for us. There was certainly enough of them to do political. Well, I, I, I will, if I can add, Madam Chair, I, I talked to uh, Professor John Tomasi, who was actually a, a summer officer, mm -hmm. a special officer in Hampton. He is um, an economics professor up there, and he has found the perfect person for us and I'm supposed to meet her the first week in March, so hopefully it'll be it'll be something good for, for, I think for that's us excellent. and for her. That's a great move. Thank you for that. Um, I just wanted to add something. Um, Sunny on the chamber, that seven thousand dollars that goes to the chamber. Everybody down the chamber wakes up somewhere around Memorial Day, and they don't get to sleep until uh, sometime in mid October. The job that they do, even with the number of people that they have in representing this town, I know it's called the Hampton Area Chamber of Commerce, but they represent Hampton very, very well. And actually that contribution to them is a very small number for the amount of hours and time and material that gets generated from the chambers. I 
don't ever like to discount the chamber, and I like to acknowledge the fact that there is a partnership going between the precinct and the chamber, and it's a good thing when people work together, and that's a bargain, I'll tell you right now. Um, outside of that, um, Maureen Chuck, looking over the whole budget, the increases are wrapped around, and it might, um, are wrapped around the cost of the parking lot, which I'm sure is going to pay you a benefit, and much sooner than than expected. And you say that one, that didn't get going to midstream last year, right? Midsummer. Like, uh, I think it was late. Like, it was like August 10th or something. Like that. Yeah. It was late. So. And quite honestly, I'm encouraged by the rain that we won't still have snow on the ground in May like we had last year. Mm -hmm. So that might indicate that we get going a little bit sooner. And the last thing, I don't want to sound like a commercial. But the last thing I want to hit on is um, the sand sculptures that has become a major event at the beach. For a long time, you know, we, we don't need to do anything in July and August. The beach itself is the draw. But that gave us an opening in June for our businesses to get supported. And we've had some years that the weather was really good. We had some years that the weather was really crappy. But it didn't make any difference. Now they're coming for it rain or shine as a big event. And I've said this in here before, so I won't dwell on it. But when you go to other places, especially at a great distance, and you go look at other sand sculptures and you hear people talking about Hampton, it does give you a very proud moment that you're being acknowledged nationally out there for this event. And it was it's, it's a beautiful event, um, artistic event, and the kind of things we talked about for a lot of years before it got developed. So it's a good thing to see this growing. I think the sponsorship will probably grow. It's, I think it's a great opportunity for everybody on that. And I have absolutely no problem with anything in this budget. I think it's all well within logical sense. And I saw you hand. All right, Ernie, yeah, I just wanted to talk about the sand sculpture because I read the Boston Globe every day. And once in a while, they'll give a blurb about sand sculptures. Rarely they mention Hampton. They talk about Revere and a couple of other places. I never go to Revere. I mean, since they took the amusement park away 100 years ago, there's no reason to go there in my mind, because the amusement park was a big part of it. My question is, you guys use a positive approach to try to get yourself in those articles in the Globe or whatever media? We are in national magazines, yeah. vacation guides. You put out press releases. Unfortunately, you can't strong arm people to, to put things in the paper. You can't strong arm them to put that paper? Uh, well, don't you have a lot of businesses to help pay for ads in that paper? Well, I'm sure that they are. I've, seen, that I've seen stuff in the paper. So, I mean, I've seen them in the, the Globe. Does anybody at the beach advertise the Globe? Yes. Do they? Yeah, and the reveal one is after hours. I mean, I was just... That's, you know, a little arm twisting yeah. there, you know. They're getting revenue from... I can't remember the names of the magazines, but there were several magazines. John sends us every year. Yeah. And I, we I think write -ups been about in, I think oh, been right up the of, yeah. We were in the Globe last summer. Were we? Yeah. They were in the Herald, too. Sure. Certainly, they most larger. certainly were. And it was the beat, it was this very thing, the sand sculptures. They had, they had pictures. If John King was here, he could tell you the exact yeah. date. I know, we, I know we get a Chronicle, I know we get a Yankee Magazine, yeah. we That's get good. a hot paper, the Albany Times we've been doing this and I mean, I didn't know how you could put any pressure on these people like the Globe. I didn't know if they'd be advertising Hampton Beach, but local papers shouldn't be too much trouble because a lot of people at the beach that have business are going to be advertising in the local paper. <clears throat> <laughs> I've spoken to Channel 9 more times. And I can remember. And and one of the things that we, we do a lot of, I don't know if you, know, if you noticed, I, I'm a big license plate person. I love to see where people are coming from. And we're getting more and more people from Ohio, upstate New York, uh, Pennsylvania, all different areas. And uh, where to get out there? Where the place to go? That leads to another question. Do you think with this exchange rate with the Canadian dollar, that's going to affect business this summer? Definitely. But we, that's what we, we take our advertising budget and we might have had, we probably had a lot of money up, up state Vermont and that hits Canada and Canada, that money will be brought down to different areas. So you move it around 
depending on what's going on, that's going on. You know, when, when the dollar was weak and the Canadian dollar was strong. Oh yeah. We were pumping up there a lot of advertising. Mm -hmm. it was strong you know, now, so. Now it's it, it, yeah. Uh, the U.S. dollar is too strong now, so. I got, I got a, one thing that occurred to me. The RPC did a study of the 101 Route One interchange. They were talking about putting a big parking lot there making it free and running a bus for a dollar or a couple yeah. of dollars. I mean, the, the town it's, it's, never did anything about it. The stuff is getting there. I mean, the Hampton Beach Area Commission right now is is working on a trans transportation grant uh, and trying to come up with some ideas, some solutions, uh, traffic pattern changes. Uh, there's talk about a, um, a parking ride, the, the Cloverleaf at 101, one. if that comes that, that then maybe we can get a bus system in, we could get something going on. It's very difficult to get a bus system in. I've been working on it for years. And the, the reason being is we're seasonal. And you need to be year round, you have to have demand year round, and they get the federal dollars because the bus systems survive on federal Except dollars. Some of the school buses aren't being used. Now the reason I brought it up was, you know, it, the Department of Transportation has a top 10 list, and because Hampton never pursued it, they dropped it off the top 10 list. The other thing I was curious about was the emergency exits. You know, our Church Street is not the greatest street to go from the beach. You know, these are things that... They're definitely working on it right now. It is, it is in, the, in the master plan, so that's what they're working on. Right? I believe it is in the top 10 list now. <laughs> and I've been attending the those ten meetings. Year plan, huh? Right, ten, ten year, yeah, ten year, ten year plan. plan. So. All right. Is there any other questions on the budget? No, seeing none. All right. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor of moving the budget of seven hundred thirty-six thousand and two dollars. I'd say we are unanimous. Thank you. And we will move on to the one article, which is just two and three that have money to them. Which is just the budget, right? Which yeah. is, which is just the budget. Um, but Stephen, if you want to read article two. Shall the district vote to accept the budget as set forth on the budget posted with the warrant to raise and appropriate the sum of $59,374 for the Hampton Beach Village District General Government, in parentheses exempt, budget purposes in addition to any amounts that may be approved for special articles. So moved. Second. Second. Who's second? I'm sorry. Yeah. Mike? Yep. Okay. Um, <coughs> we don't need any discussion on this. Uh, what's, it, what's this money for again? It's the budget, but it's broken down into the two parts. Well, it was general time. government. Mm -hmm. And oh, okay, right. Foreign Article 3 is what came under. Oh, yeah, we had, that, we had the same thing last year, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. And Article 3. Shall the district vote to accept the budget as set forth on the budget posted with the warrant to raise and appropriate the sum of $676,628 for the Hampton Beach Village District Culture and Recreation, in parentheses, non-exempt, budget purposes in addition to any amounts that may be approved for special articles. So moved. Second. Brian, okay. All those in favor? Again, unanimous. All right, at this time, what have I got here? Seven forty. I'm going up to open up public hearing. Seeing no one in the room other than us, um, I will close public hearing at 741. Do you want your record meeting? Do you want to bring it back to the committee so we That's can That's why I'm it? getting good, huh? Want to bring it back to us so we can come in if we want to, like you normally do? To bring uh, about this here? Yeah, about the, uh, the, any comments that were made at the public hearing. It's a formality. It's not. Mike, Mike, if you feel you want to bring it back, yeah. All right, before I close it out, mm -hmm. all right, I'll take back the 740. Do you have a comment? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I told you I was going to delay the meeting. Okay. No, I, I said you, you're supposed to bring it back to the committee before we well, just close it out. You closed it. Close it. You closed it. Now he wants to bring it back. Now he wants no, to bring I don't. It. I don't want to close it. <laughs> I want to bring it back to the committee, not close it. Well, seeing as how we were unanimous about everything and there's no one here to discuss anything, I there's nothing to, to change. No, I'm just kidding. At 743, I'm, I'm all set. I'm just trying working. to get thanks them formally correct that. It's working. Thank you, Mike, for keeping us on course from a procedural standpoint. Anything to delay the meeting so we can keep it here all night so I can drink my second cup of coffee. <laughs> Maureen, Chuck, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Going over the budget and letting us ask what we needed to ask tonight. Can I leave too? No. <laughs> For everybody else, nobody else can leave. Bob stays used to. Just a reminder, March 25th is our annual meeting. Yes. And o'clock. March 25th. Is that going to be posted? Oh, yes. Is that Friday? It's Friday, yeah. It's the last Friday of March. Right before the lines come thing at the Okay. Good luck with your budget. At that meeting. Thank you very much. Great presentation, you guys. Thanks for coming Thank out. Great. This is one of the more tense meetings. <laughs> more tense. That's the one with the lobster. <laughs> <laughs> it goes much better when we're sort of lobster though I might have. I was good. Wait, based on you don't need lobster. <laughs> You can be blocked with a few words. I don't, I don't think we've ever had a long meeting on it. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. Yeah, Mark. there was one year when yeah. someone went up to the podium. <laughs> How many went up to the podium and went on about something? Five off. You go somewhere? I don't know. He had an issue and was going to be heard. Yeah. I'm in a little consultation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bob, you're not going anywhere. We got another hour. Oh, we'll talk about an hour. An hour. <laughs> I move to, to approve the 38 pages. <laughs> I'll second that. The problem, I, I would, okay. but the problem we'll that I have time. with it okay. is that not everybody was present for every set. So bear with me. Like I mentioned, I do believe a couple of those at least um, have been okay, but. This is cleanup. Let's make a clean break tonight. Get everything all caught up, caught up. I'm sure that if you had changes by now, you've contacted me and I've contacted Terry. Do you want a motion on the first one, Madam Chairman? Uh, actually, yeah, but I want to go in order. I don't have a set. So is there a Get right here. This is I, <laughs> <laughs> That's the that that was at the seat. Everybody yeah. will volunteer to give them to We killed a tree for this tonight. I know, I see that. All right. They're kind of in order. They're I'm going to start out with June 16th. Of those of you who were at that meeting, do I have a motion I'll to I'll make a motion. I don't have that. Okay, so I'll second. <laughs> Scott, you I'll motion? make a motion. Okay, all those in favor? If you I'm weren't sorry. here, abstain. Any abstentions? I'm assuming I was there. I know I was there. Uh, Jim, you were there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you were. Thank you. Okay, so Bob and Steve, you're staying. No, I was there. No, you were absent. You're on here. You were absent. Oh, yeah, absent. Oh, sorry. Absent. Absent. I, have, I have stayed. I'm sorry. <laughs> she didn't say absent minded, Steve. Yeah, well, that uh, actually, hold on one second, Madam Chair. Uh, on the June 16th minutes, it says Bob Lab was both here and absent. <laughs> But well, he didn't know if he was coming or going that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did I stay? He might have showed up, but he left oh, early. Wow. So he abstained as well. <laughs> he did? He abstains. Right? Bob, you weren't there, based, so you're going to abstain. Based on the uncertainty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Two abstains. All right. July 21st. Motion. I'll make the motion. I, I will second motion. that motion. Okay. So Mike motion. Nick seconded the motion. Nick, was I there? Uh, All those. Cliff and O'Laughlin were absent oh, okay. for this meeting. Right. So, mm -hmm. Mike Busy and Jim, that. you'll abstain on that? Yes. Yep. And the rest of us are okay? Anybody? If there are any changes as we go through these, please stop me. Go ahead. All right. September 15th. I'll make the motion. Um, okay, Mike. Second. Jim. Okay, if I don't see anybody not here, then so mm -hmm. everybody here is listed. So, all those in favor of approving these minutes? Okay, done with those. October 20th. This is an agenda. 
That is true. Why do we need to approve it? So we need to change that right off the bat. Well, that mm. shouldn't say agenda. Oh, should it should say minutes? Say minutes. Yes. Okay. So we need a correction to October 20th mm -hmm. to reflect minutes. Oh, yeah, it is minutes. I didn't even look. I said agenda. Why we got that? Okay. Minutes. <laughs> okay. And I do believe that Mr. Wood was still with us at that point in time. Um, but absent. October yes, October he was 20. absent. He was absent. I don't think he was here. I think you're correct now. I think he, he was still with us. He was but still he was with absent. us. So we so. need yeah. that reflected in the minutes. See, there are some things in the other place. So did you want a motion on that, Adam Chairman? So can we motion to approve as a, as amended? No, we can make that change. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then approve as amended. Exactly. Okay. Sorry about Go that. Go ahead. You make a motion. I will make a motion to make that change and then approve as amended. Second. Second. Who said second? I did. Scott said second. I'll wait for the next one. All right. All those in favor? Mike? Yep. yep. Unanimous? I uh, abstained. I was the third. Okay. Same thing with October 29th. It shouldn't say agenda. It should say minutes. Actually, mm -hmm. it looks like moving forward. They don't say minutes at all on the rest of them. It just says agenda. If mm -hmm. I'm looking at the rest of them. Yeah, so we have to change them all. Okay. These were taken as they were sent. So. Yeah. No problem. Just for the record. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's why we're here and that's why we're doing this. I'll move to October 29th. Minutes? I have a clarification. On the 29th? Yes. No, so many seconds that. Somebody second the 29th. I, I moved the 29th. It. Wait a minute. We need a second on the 29th. Well, for discussion, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll second it. Okay. You. Nick? Brian, your correction? Um, this was in regard to a situation that propped up a few weeks ago. No, it can't be. Uh, the, no, it can't be. But the, no, no, no. The... Uh, Vote on that. On was what? Thirteen to zero. Which vote? Motion to adjourn. Which is why Mr. Lapham said don't ask the budget committee because we forgot to take the vote. What? You're right. Okay. Oh, it's not in the minutes. That was the simplest thing in the world, but what I don't know why. It was okay. the vote was thirteen was to zero here. Oh, I wasn't so here. Brian was you running weren't here. And that was 13 to 0. The whole shebang about yep. that. Okay. See, I knew the whole thing would go to pieces on the adjournment if I was okay. there. Yep. I do. Just add that. Yeah, yes. 13 to 0. Okay, I'll make the motion as amended. And I would, yeah, Sonny brings up a good point. I would okay. say that the vote was probably 10 to 0 as there was only 10 people present for that meeting. Oh, good point. Huh? Yeah. Okay. In one of the earlier votes, there was a 10 yes, 0 no, 0 abstention. Mm -hmm. I really can't imagine yeah. any of you 10 to zero. not agreeing to adjourn. 10 to 0. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I can. Mike Pierce, because he right. likes making a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So on that, I'm abstaining. So I will move to uh, approve. We the, already did. Uh, as, as amended? Yeah. As amended. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh. I did that. You seconded it. All right. Okay. All those in favor who were here? <laughs> okay. Jim was not here. I was not here. Then I'm abstaining. <laughs> I'm sorry? Then I'm abstaining. We're both abstaining. All righty. Moving on to... December 10th. December 10th. It should be minutes again. Oh, yeah. Rather than agenda. Um... Yep. My concern is at what point did Mr. Woods resign as we're now halfway through December? Right. But I know we addressed it in the meeting. I just, I'm trying to see. Yeah. It was just January, by January 5th, he had resigned. Okay, so for the next, that? yeah. Okay. Because okay. okay. you so can was, see it, there was a vacant seat at that point. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. I just didn't know where it fell in the timeline, so I just was. Okay. 
So what is absent on this one? Is somebody well, gonna it, make a motion? You know what? We have that listed down there. Steve, yeah. you were absent, and Dave was ab was absent on that. Mm -hmm. So was, that uh, is there. And I, you know, I can see what's going on with the head sheet is that um, Terry is using the headings from from the date standpoint for the minutes. So right. we'll have to clarify all these. Make sure it's they all say minutes. Yeah. So correction to the minutes on. I'll the make top. a motion to. Uh, Move um, December 10th as amended. December 15th? No, December 10th. 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 Second. Second. As amended. Okay. Steve, you're abstaining? Uh, yes. I don't have one. All right. All those in favor? We wanted to get it backwards, but Jim was with us on that one. Yes. Bob, were you Bob, with us on that? You were there. Yes. You were here. Okay. No, the 10th. Yeah. On the 10th? Yeah. You were here on the 10th? Yeah, you were there on the 10th. Yeah. All right. backwards. Okay, so we're good on that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moving on to the 15th. Um, um, move uh, December 15th as, as amended. Second. Okay, so again, we're going to put the minutes on top of that. Mm -hmm. And David Wood's still there, apparently, yes. on, on this one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Excused. I don't stand on that. So, all those in favor as amended, and abstentions, Stay. Jim, Bob. and Bob. Alrighty. Well, this isn't as painful as I thought it would be. All right, again. Moving on to January 5th, we're going to take out agenda and we're going to put minutes. Um, I'll move it as amended. Second. Okay. That was Mike and Nick. Right. Mm -hmm. So the vacant seat is in here to uh, ask for yeah. forgiveness. And vacant seat, obviously, that's the date. All those in favor? Right. Now, these are minutes that are really recent, actually. So if you guys have anything to change on these, although I know Terry labored over these with multiple revisions trying to coordinate numbers of Warren articles and um did somebody leave that meeting oh you're right yes. yeah Mike Pierce did it nine o'clock okay. and it's Pierce? on there yeah why did that leave at nine did you get upset he had yeah. oh I got steam okay, I just oh that's right I, I like getting throwing his bits also, you might make a note that somebody mentioned these Nick the Warren articles are definitely scrambled eggs on at this point in time. Uh, the the numbers on the Warren articles mm -hmm. don't reflect the current Warren article numbers. But that's what they were when we got at them. the time. They were. I think they, they were. I think we're covering on that. Draft. I think we can live with that. I can. I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know that's the way it happened in the night. So. While we have the written minutes, there is now always a, a video record to go back to. I hate the way those Warren articles came out to us, and but in the moment, it, it, it was what we were yeah. doing. And going backwards and trying to change some of that is like trying to rewrite history after the fact. I don't see my grand accident here. It is in, it is yeah. in there. It's right it's in next there. to your name in attendance, 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah, but it doesn't give me any, any, any well, colorful you, description. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> you just get up and left. You didn't make that grand of an exit, Mike. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to January 7th. Eight. Eight. No, 7th. 7. 7th. We didn't do 7th. We did the 5th. Okay. I'll move 7 as amended. Second. Minutes thing at the top. Yeah, I do. I have a whole bunch of extra uh, subjects right here. That's probably why they didn't get passed around. Let me have one. <laughs> sure. Please. Well, that's what happens when I look at you, That's a good one. Sorry. Grab it. There you go. Okay, All right. Thank you. Yeah. Stretch them out. Okay. okay. Any corrections on this one? Uh, well, it looks like we had a full house that night. Mm -hmm. So outside of changing agenda to meeting. I will be. Like All those who moved it. I did. To accept it as amended. Mm -hmm. Second? Second. Second, Scott. All those in favor? All right, everybody. Thank you. That's seven. All right, on to eight. Right? Eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. It has the same problem with the agenda thing. January 8th. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Jim and Sonny were not here that night. And Bob, you left at 8.45. Do a steam. <laughs> All right, so you, you're an abstain. So I will... Uh, Did you vote that too? Move yes, I <laughs> a discussion on the uh, amend the amended minutes, to the meeting. Amended minutes, yeah, of January 8th to 2016. Second. Okay. Second, by, Second Scott. by Scott. All those in favor? Okay, we carry the day. Sonny, you with us? Yeah, well, I abstained. Oh, that's I right. You did abstain. I'm abstain. sorry. Two abstentions. All righty. Moving on to the 13th. 13th and 14th is like a book. Okay, I'll Steve, move. and you are not here for this vote. Just so you know. I'll move the, the 13th uh, as amended. Second. So we're changing meeting again. Oh, yeah. All right. Any corrections to this set? No, you all got them today and went over Seeing them. None. All righty. All oh, those in favor? Right. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm in favor. I didn't hear anybody opposed to anything, so if I'm going too fast for you, let me know. Um, then Tuesday the 14th, that was a public hearing. It just is void of minutes, so we can add minutes to it. All right. And we were all in attendance except for the vacant seat that we were carrying. Mm -hmm. So do I have a motion to accept as amended? I'll make the motion as amended. Second. second that. January 14th. Okay. And all those in favor again? We have gone through all of that. The only thing missing was the minutes from the 30th deliberative. from deliberative session. Um, I apologize for that. You guys will have to approve it at the next meeting. Those are in the works, though? Yeah. Uh, are they it's the basically two lines. It's yeah. the two votes that we took. Um, it's there, but I forgot it because it's not where I usually keep this stuff. Madam so Chairman, I, before we move on to this, I just was thinking on this January 13th meeting when we were talking about the police contract. Yeah. In this in these remarks, it says says the total cost is 660. We didn't change that until the public hearing. So this is that part needs to be changed. You follow what I'm saying? The total cost was 660, and they originally had 330 or something. What page well, numbers I'm looking for the page right now. Just so does that need a correction, Mike? Well, I think so. Let's take a look at it and make sure it's correct. I think it's wrong, but take a look at it's on page uh, six. Yeah, I see where you're at now. Six, no, it's, yeah, it's on page six, and it's at the top. It says the compound and cumulative cost over three contract years estimates to be 660000 We didn't change that in the Warren article until the following night. Correct. I believe mm -hmm. what happened was it looks like the number had been copied from the new article probably put into this. Right. Um, yeah. With the new wording. Mm -hmm. So we need the original number. But the vote, the the way vote way that is. took place reflects the old as number. number. Mm -hmm. As a it has question to stay the way it is, because at that point we hadn't found the mistake, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it was 330 then. Find it, yeah, yeah we did find it wasn't six. It has to be changed to be and correct. It was before yeah. the public hearing. Was it, that now, now, is it only in that Warren article? Thanks for finding that. I think that's it was. It was. I believe it was an article uh, 14 and 15. I believe they changed it. For I think the, they changed uh, it the next well. one too. I think so. Yeah. All right. So we need a revision on the totals. Yeah. And so that's perhaps 16 as well. So for Terry, going back to January 13th on page six. Both of those total numbers at the end of each one are going to need to be changed. All right. And so I can only give you the approximate numbers. I'm happy with right. that. Just so she's clear, a review of Article 14 and 15 and Article 15 and, and 16. 16 and Article 16. Correct. 16. Yes. Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was the Teamsters contract. That, was the it also line, line, correct. Yeah, okay. On the bottom line, estimated cost mm -hmm. at the very end of the Warren article. These reflect the revisions. They don't reflect what was presented that night. Correct. Exactly. This actually is where they ended up. Yes. But that night they were not presented to us that way. It had the lower amounts, right? You're right. Okay. So we will flag January 13th. I'm sure she's listening to us. She questioned very that Very special day. Question January 13th. And for the, for the record, uh, Madam Chair, on the 14th, Yep. They do reflect the corrected numbers, and, right? And I believe the the vote changed because of the re the reflected. Numbers. Do we need to go back and vote on the thirteenth again because we are changing some more items? Yeah. No. Make a motion. Make a motion. Okay. Make a motion. I had to vote to reconsider, right, or something like that. Yeah, as amended, including Warren articles thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, I vote we reconsider uh, 
January 13th uh, to be amended. I will second that motion. Okay. Okay. And we can say what the amendments are. It's what, 14, 15, 16? Correct, yeah. Those 15, that 14, be modified. 15. All those in favor? Thank you. I just happened to see that. I was good on that? Over there. Good, good catch, Mike. We're good on the precinct? Did we finish the 14th? Yes. Yes, yes. we did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Madam Chair, before I make a motion to adjourn, I but, just... No, Mike has a couple of things. Okay, well, I have, I have something I'd like to say, and that is that I would like to personally thank you for all of the years that you've spent, all the time that you've spent on this budget committee. Thank you thank very you. much. And I think that there are others here that probably feel the same way. So. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I, I don't accept the fact she thinks she's not running again. <laughs> I think she is. I wish all of you well. Thank I, you. as vice chairman, want to say that I wouldn't have made it here without you. <laughs> um, you have been so much help over the years. Whenever I call for a question, Bingo, got to recall. Um, you've done a lot for this town, and more than you probably will ever know. Mm -hmm. And for that, we as a board, thank you. Thank you. My head has to walk out that door later. <laughs> I want to I thank all of you. We had a very tough year this year. I think you handled it quite smartly. Well, I'm not talking about how I handled it. We're talking about how you guys all handle it. We I had, think it was done we pretty well. Much better than last year. <laughs> and it proved what I've always thought this budget committee is more than capable of developing a budget, even in a void. All right. You did a lot of did a lot of good work. We don't always agree. And you know what? You're not meant to. We're not meant to. And that's why it's always been good to have a large committee the size as it is, because democracy prevails and we always seem to come out with the right choices in the end, remarkably, when you don't even think you're going to get there from the beginning or in the middle. So I want to thank all of you. Um, I'm not leaving town, so if you ever need my help, just give me a call. And thank you. 15 years, it's, it's time for some new blood to mix it up, to move it on. And uh, I wish you all well. Thank you. Now, Michael. I have two little tidbits. The official warrants for the ballot were on the town website. They've taken them down. So my request for anybody here is to ask the town why don't we put them back up on the website so the voters can see what they look like. They had them up on the website for a while. Oh. Today they're gone. I don't know why they're gone. There's no notice to why they're gone or anything. I don't know why they would take them out. I'll put a tomorrow. Yeah. And the other thing I have is on the December 22nd meeting, we asked for the uh, Excel spread file for the end of the year balances and expenses corrected for what was corrected in our meetings, like they spent money that was left over for certain times. We never get the final uh, you know, summary at the end. We, the Excel spreadsheet for that, because we requested on 1222. Mm -hmm. Remember the meeting we had up by the doors? That was the meeting we had. Oh, yeah. we, we voted on that meeting. Yeah. That may be done, Mike. I might have gotten a copy late last week, but I may have assumed that Christy sent it out to everybody. I don't PDF or it's Excel. upstairs. Huh? It's PDF or Excel. I Excel don't spread, know. We I, want it in data form. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I, I know I got the final, but I thought it was PDF. Yeah, the finals was the 29th that was put out. It could be the PDF. I only got one. Yeah. So we want the Excel. Just well, that was what yeah. we voted on at the meeting on 1222. All right, she may we have thought she satisfied that in the PDF. Well, I don't know uh, what she was thinking. But I'll contact her tomorrow. Because we need we need the uh, in Excel, and we definitely need to have the uh, final expenses. Mm -hmm. You know, because that should be a, a all corrected by now. Is what I'm saying. And the that final. that I believe is there too. There's yeah. also some printouts yeah. out so. for the end of the year upstairs too. You should have gotten that. Um, it didn't come out till late last week, though. Yeah. So going forward, I do hope everybody will keep track to get this information out much sooner. To get it after deliberative was absolutely useless um, in helping prepare so do the you, budget. Do you want to follow up on these? You want one of us? No, I'll follow up on okay. that. Okay. All right. And I'll, I'll at least put an email out to you. you have some kind of short timer's attitude. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah December twenty, uh, December thirty first financials was emailed by Christy right. in, yep. PD, in PDF form yeah. on one twenty three. Okay, and the yeah, copies are upstairs. We all got. I thought we yeah. all no, got we, it at no, the same time. We definitely yeah. need the data format. The Excel, Excel spreadsheet form is format what we, is what we're, what we're, we're voted for. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's unanimous too. When we're by the door. All right. Mm -hmm. um, no problem. I picked it up. So yeah, but that's I paper. I want data. Yeah. I want it. So I make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Was there anything else? Stereo. I can't. We, okay. All right, I can't see what the word is. I have uh, 807. 2007, yep. 807. Oh my God, we don't even have to take a break. Thank Final vote. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Channel 22. Here, here. I get that. A lot of recycled oh. paper for my parents. <laughs>